uh, leader of twitch so this is an example probability question I'm trying to solve the chance of having a girl baby is 49% and that of a boy baby is 51% what's the chance that a family of three children is made up of two girls and one boy here check this out let's do this we we ended this one we'll leave that up because this is just a tree diagram uh, supreme leader of twitch how would i go about solving such a probably set you do it like this so uh child number one number one here let's write it out so we understand it child child number one so child number one girl or a boy right the probability for a girl is 0.15 the probability of a boy is 0.4 right is that true uh girl yeah oh no the other way around oops so girl baby is 49 percent the boy is 51 so this would be boy this would be girl okay i'm gonna kill this guy gang for this one you would just break it down and you can't divide by two anymore because this is a one so you would have to find an odd number that goes into this because two is the two is the only and this one would be two and five right and then two is the only even prime number and you're going to look for other primes that go into this so you do the prime and you're going to do it with the calculator right let's do this so the next one you can have a boy you can have a girl you can have a boy you can have a girl right again the boy is 0.51 the girl is 0 0.49 the boy is 0.51 and the girl is 0 0.49 right i can actually do this question I'm officially back <laughs> Oh my god, I got to go have a good rest of stream. Well, you too, Milzy. And then the next baby, next kid, is boy and a girl again, right? 0 0.51, 0 0.49, 0 0.49, 0 0.49, 0 0.49, boy, girl, 0.51, 0 0.49, boy, girl, 0.51, 0.49, boy girl 0 0.51 0 0.49 and by the way you could do this by laying it out in this uh, what do you call it the power stuff you can use and then your question is this right so I'm going to read the question again right from supreme leader of twitch answer this question the chance of having a girl baby is 49 percent and that of a boy baby is 51 percent what's the chance that a family of three children so we got three children one event oh sorry one event so that's your first kid here this is in child number one this is parents parents right so this is uh child number one is here child number two is here child number three is this column right so what's the chance that a family of three children is made up of two girls and one boy right so I'm gonna do this in red pen so two, 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 two girls and one boy so let's assume you go down this road first you get your boy first right here let's do it this way so you see it you have your boy first and then the next two kids have to be girls because you want two girls right so then you would have to go girl your second child is girl and girl okay so if your first kid is a boy you have no choice than to go girl girl right so this would be 0 0.51 times 0 0.49 squared let me write down write this down better right 
So this one, the outcome is 0 0.51 times 0 0.49 squared. That's not that much better, but it is sort of, right? Now, your next avenue you can go. Your first kid can be a girl, right? If your first kid is a girl and your second kid is a girl, then your next kid has to be a boy. So over here, the probability is 0.49 times 0.49 times 0.51. So 0 0.49 squared times 0 0.51, right? Now, here's another avenue you can take. If your first kid is a girl, your second kid could be a boy. You don't care which one it is, but your third kid has to be a girl because you're looking for two girls and a boy. So then you go down this one. So over here, you got 0.49 times 0.49 times 0.51. So 0 0.49 squared times 0 0.51. Okay. So what we have right now is there's three different paths for this family, these parents, to have two girls and one boy. And these are the paths that you have. And what you do, you add those up. So you have the total probability, and this is where you add them, right? And if you're adding them, they're, all three of them are the same. It's 0.49 squared times 0.15, right? So all you would do, you would go 0 0.49 squared times 0 0.51, add it together three times, or just multiply this by three. And that would be your answer. Okay, is that clear? That's the way you would do this problem. And the problem is the chance of having a girl baby is 49% and that of a boy baby is 51%. What's the chance that a family of three children is made up of two girls and one boy? The tree diagram works for this. Okay, is that clear? Uh, swag boy Felix MC Mike thanks I enjoy these streams because everyone here is trying to either learn or solidify their knowledge on some uh, some form of math yeah me too that's why I like them too uh, MC Mike swag boy swag boy you're welcome I know what you mean I started watching Chicho when I was upgrading my math to get into university a couple of years went by and he was one of the people to inspire me to go further in mathematics ah oh, dude serious really like awesome i love the live streams for the same reason happy to help when i can awesome mc mike that makes me happy man awesome 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 the tears to chicho's eyes another mathematician in, into the wild fantastic fantastic powerful and eh, mike supreme leader of twitch oh wow that's a very nice and clear visual visual explanation the teacher never explained in this visual way but now i feel like i actually understand this so basically i just made the mistake of only considering a single path yeah basically very interesting my pleasure uh supreme leader of twitch uh and by the way i'm pretty sure this is correct but if i'm wrong please let me know anyone okay and and there is this level of mathematics you can do it with the tree diagram but if you have a lot of path then you gotta sort of apply this you come up with proofs formulas that do this thing without you really having to draw it and you can come up with equations to do more complicated stuff